Sure. Um, so there we are at the meeting earlier today. Can you give us a little Still bit? going on. Still going on. As so, far as I know as when I came out here, yes. And um, are you hopeful that you'll be able to invite those senators to the White House for a meeting with the President? We will see. Uh, as we do every day uh, in Democracy in Action happening here, uh, we assess what the right next step is. Uh, and as I noted yesterday, uh, the President is encouraged by the ongoing talks and discussions that uh, are continuing with Democrats and Republicans. We've sent some, he's asked some members of his senior team, as you noted, Steve Rochetti, uh, Steve Rochetti Louisa Terrell, uh, to go up to Capitol Hill and meet with a group of bipartisan senators. Um, and once they conclude that meeting, I expect we'll assess what the next steps are. You're getting a lot of criticism already about the paring down of the very ambitious infrastructure proposals. Things that are falling away are things that you've said are top priorities, whether it's climate, the care economy. I mean, how do you how do you anticipate dealing with and, and solving those priorities, spending issues, if you get to a compromise now that is in fact a slimmed down version of what you initially planned? There's a budget reconciliation process that's just getting underway, which we expect to be a vehicle to move a number of the president's bold ideas forward. Can I ask you a question?